Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can get SharePoint site owners using PowerShell. And also we will basically see how we can retrieve the site owners from a SharePoint classic site. Uh, from a SharePoint site where there is no Office 365 group connected. Also, I will show you how we can get SharePoint site owners from an Office 365 group connected site. So these are basically the things that we will see here. Now all this PowerShell script I will use, I will use in Windows PowerShell ISE. And most importantly, make sure you have installed SharePoint Online Management Shell. If you have not installed, then you can just uh, Google it, SharePoint Online Management Shell and then you can get it so you can download and install that i'll also put a article link on the video description so now let me open powershell iac so if you'll see here this is powershell iac so i'll click on run as administrator you can see here now this is what is the powershell iac is opening here the first thing what I will do here is let me just show you uh, the script that I have written and then I we will understand from here how exactly it is working. So first thing is if you are new to SharePoint online management cell then we need to first connect to the SharePoint admin site that is the reason we can we are using here connect hyphen SPO service then I will pass the URL and this is the SharePoint admin URL and you can get just you can put your tenant name hyphen admin so you'll get the SharePoint admin center URL and then the credential so basically it will ask you for the credential where you can enter your username and password next thing is get hyphen SPO site it will actually run this command only it will give you all the sites from your office 365 tenant and in this case I put the site parameter and in a pipeline I'm saying we need to select the owner so once you do that, then you will be able to get site owners for this particular site. Now let me just put it here. I will just copy it and I will click on this run script. And as I said, it will ask you for the credential. So I will put my credential here. And once I click on OK, you can see here it is showing me this is the owner. Now this is a site, it's a classic SharePoint site. And the same way you can get the SharePoint site owners if the site is not connected to an Office 365 group. If the site is connected to an Office 365 group, then to retrieve the SharePoint site owner, you have to connect with Azure. Now, this is what how we can connect it. First of all, if you have not installed Azure, uh, for, to, to connect with Azure AD, then this is the command that you can use, install hyphen module hyphen name Azure AD. So I'll put actually all this script in the blog post which I wrote it. So you will get that everything is from that uh, blog, blog URL. Now this is the command first you have to run so that it will install the module and once it will install then you can use connect hyphen Azure AD to connect to your Azure AD from your system. And here it will ask you to put the credential. So you will put that. And next thing is, if you will see here, this is the site URL. Sorry, this is the get hyphen SPO site. So it will give you this particular site. And get hyphen Azure AD group owner is the PowerShell command that we will use here. And you can see here I am passing the site dot group ID because this is a Office 365 group connected site and then we are taking the user principal name. So now let me just put it here. So you can see here this is uh, I will just remove this command. I'll put it here and then I'll run this. So first thing you can see here it will ask you to connect to the Azure ID. So I will put my credential here. I'll click on next. So now I will click on sign in. So once you click on sign in, then uh, since I have already connected to my SharePoint site, so that's the reason you can see directly it will give you. But if you have, if you have not connected, then it will actually you have to run that connected hyphen SPO site command. Now, if you will just come here, uh, you can see it is showing me that this is the user. Now, if you'll see here, this is the training site URL. So I will just open the browser. Uh, you can see here this is the site so three members are there click on this and you can see here 
just i am the owner so i will make this uh, this user bhavna as an another owner and i will run this command again so you can see here so i will put the credential so now we can see here it is showing me now these are the two site owners so this is how actually we can get the site owners like this from an office 365 group connected site now if you look at here we have two kind of site one is a uh, classic site or a site which is not connected to an office 365 group but the other one is actually a connected site so actually we can uh, write one over here one powershell script that will check if the site is actually connected to an office 365 group or not and if it is not then it will run this one means it will give directly the site owner and if it is then you can connect it over here so if i will actually run it here you can see here this is a classic site so i'll simply run it uh, you can see it is giving me that this is the site owner and if i will give this one as training you can see here i run it so you can see this these are the two site owners that it is providing so you can write this one command which will check this is basically we are checking the template so group uh, and you, you can see here i put a star star over here so that that's how actually we can know whether this group is a uh, or whether the site is a group connected site or not and you can also directly print over here site dot template then exactly it will show you the template of this particular site so this is how we can get the site owners from an a sharepoint site whether it is office 365 group connected site or it is a classic site and without any group connected site so if you like the videos then uh, subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on office 365 sharepoint powershell spfx power platform all these videos you will get it thank you and have a nice day